Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Spoilers, Friday, April 12th Jason flips out over Carly's confession Lucy's TV disaster. General Hospital GH Spoilers for Friday, April 12th, reveal that Sasha Gilmore Sophia Matson will enjoy helping Cody Bell Josh Kelly in the stables again but she'll wrestle with a few lingering doubts about her recent career decision. Sasha will ask Cody if she was crazy to leave deception, but he might insist she was just following her heart. Cody may encourage Sasha to find something else she's passionate about since she just wasn't t feeling modeling anymore. Meanwhile, Lucy Colin Herring will insist on handling deception's new home and heart appearance herself. Since Blaze aka Allison Rogers Jacqueline Grace Lopez wasn't t on board with selling products, shopping channel duties aren't t included in her contract. Lucy will take the lead in Sasha's absence since Blaze refused to do this part, but Maxie Jones Kirsten Storms will have a bad feeling about Lucy's plan. Although Maxie will encourage Lucy to delegate some tasks, it doesn't t look like Lucy will listen. Lucy may think she's got everything under control, but this home and heart appearance will quickly turn into a total disaster. At the Cordemain mansion, Tracy Cordemain Jane Elliott will warn Brooklyn Cordemain Amanda Sutton that disrespecting her husband is no way to start a marriage. Perhaps Brooklyn will object to Harrison Chase Josh Swickard selling his truck to pay for their Florence honeymoon and try to cancel it. Tracy may argue that Chase wants to treat his bride-to-be and doesn't he need Brooklyn undermining his decision to offer a gift. Speaking of gifts, Jason Morgan Steve Burton will have one that he wants to give Carly Spencer Laura Wright as well. Diane Miller Carolyn Hennessy may worry that Carly won't accept it, but Jason will insist he can work things out with her. Since Jason knows Carly lost her half of the Metro Court, he may plan to do whatever it takes to get it back. Carly wasn't he willing to accept help from anyone before, but will she accept help from Jason if Jason makes Nina Corinda Cynthia Watros an offer she can't refuse, maybe he can finally turn Carly's dream of running the hotel again into a reality. In the meantime, Nina just blabbed to Drew Kane Cameron Matheson, Michael Corinthos Chad Duell and Curtis Ashford Donald Turner about Carly sleeping with John Jagger Kate's Adam Harrington, but she's got it all wrong. Carly just stayed the night with John to monitor him for signs of a concussion after his attack, so Nina is spreading lies without grasping the full story. On Friday SGH episode, Curtis will insist that was uncalled for, so he may scold Nina for poking her nose where it doesn't belong. As for Carly, it looks like she'll pay Jason a visit in his new office and admit she did something he's not going to like. Carly may offer updates on how she came to John's rescue, so Jason may flip out since Carly has no idea John's leverage is all about her. John's been threatening to send Carly to prison if Jason doesn't cooperate, so Jason will be furious if he feels like John is now personally manipulating her. Will Jason warn Carly that John is bad news and not someone she should be hanging around with across town? Alexis Davis Nancy Lee Gran will give Gregory Chase Gregory Harrison a positive report since her appeal is moving forward, but she'll still wonder if all this is a risk she can afford. The more hope Alexis gets about becoming a lawyer again, the further she has to fall if it doesn't pan out. General Hospital spoilers say Gregory will urge Alexis to stick with her fight to get her law license back, so we'll bring you more predictions on her case outcome. As the sun cast its golden hues over the bustling city of Port Charles, tension crackled in the air, promising a day of revelations and upheavals at General Hospital. The scent of antiseptic mingled with the aroma of freshly brewed coffee in the corridors, as nurses hurried by their footsteps echoing the pulse of the hospital. Friday, April 12, dawned with promises of drama and suspense, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats. In the heart of the chaos stood Jason Morgan, 
his rugged features etched with worry and determination. Ever since Carly Corin Thaws, his closest confidant and the Queen of Port Charles, dropped a bombshell confession, his world had spiraled into turmoil. Today, he couldn't shake off the weight of her words, words that threatened to shatter their bond forever. Clad in his signature black attire, Jason paced the dimly lit corridors of General Hospital, his mind a whirlwind of conflicting emotions. Carly's revelation had hit him like a freight train, leaving him grappling with a storm of betrayal and disbelief. How could she keep such a monumental secret from him and more importantly, how would their friendship survive the fallout with every step, Jason's resolve hardened, his jaw set in determination. He couldn't let Carly's confession tear them apart, not after everything they'd been through together. Stealing himself, he marched towards Carly's room, his heart pounding with anticipation and dread. Meanwhile, in a nearby corner of the hospital, Lucy Co., the vivacious and often eccentric owner of Coco Cosmetics, found herself in the midst of a television disaster of her own making. As the producer of Port Charles's beloved daytime talk show, The Chat Room, Lucy had always prided herself on delivering top-notch entertainment to her viewers. However, today's episode was careening towards disaster at an alarming speed. Clad in a flurry of sequins and feathers, Lucy frantically paced the set, her perfectly coiffed hair now slightly disheveled. Technical glitches and on-air mishaps plagued the show threatening to derail Lucy's carefully crafted plans. With every passing minute, her anxiety mounted, her dream of television stardom slipping through her fingers. As chaos reigned behind the scenes, the show's hosts, Laura Collins and Felicia Scorpio, struggled to maintain their composure on camera. Their forced smiles masked the tension simmering beneath the surface, a tension that threatened to boil over at any moment. Back in Carly's room, Jason finally came face to face with the woman who held his heart in her hands. Carly's eyes glistened with unshed tears as she met his gaze, her vulnerability laid bare for him to see. In that moment, the walls between them crumbled, leaving only raw honesty and unspoken truths. With a heavy sigh, Carly poured her heart out to Jason, her words a tapestry of regret and remorse. She hadn't meant to keep secrets from him, she insisted, but circumstances had forced her hand. As she bared her soul, Jason's anger melted away, replaced by a profound sense of understanding and compassion. Their bond, forged in the fires of adversity, emerged stronger than ever, as they vowed to face whatever challenges lay ahead together. With a tender embrace, Jason and Carly set aside their differences their friendship renewed and fortified by the trials of the past. Meanwhile, in the chaotic world of daytime television, Lucy Co. refused to let her dreams crumble before her eyes. With unwavering determination, she rallied her team, channeling her boundless energy into salvaging the show. As the minutes ticked by, the chaos gradually subsided, replaced by a newfound sense of camaraderie and purpose. With the crisis averted, the chat room resumed its broadcast, much to Lucy's relief. As the credits rolled and applause filled the studio, Lucy couldn't help but smile, her faith in herself and her team reaffirmed once more. As the day drew to a close, General Hospital stood as a beacon of hope and resilience in the face of adversity. From the depths of despair to the heights of triumph, the residents of Port Charles had weathered yet another storm, their bonds stronger than ever before. And as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the city, they knew that no matter what challenges tomorrow brought, they would face them together, united in strength and friendship.